everyone. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Sometimes people ask during a time of crisis, what is God trying to tell us? And so I want to ask, what do you think God is trying to tell us in this coronavirus? Does he have any new revelations to us, new messages that we're supposed to get? And really the answer is no. You see, through Jesus, God has said everything he wants us to say. He is showing us that he is with us, right? Emmanuel means God with us, and that he is with us, right? He became flesh, and so he wants to come into our lives, and that we welcome him. So the question is, will we welcome Christ? And every time that we, as human beings, have gone astray, we have turned away from the Lord and his way, from the way of love, of justice, of charity, of mis uh, mercy, of the way of chastity, of purity, of heart, right? And so we don't often welcome the word into our souls, everything that God is trying to tell us. So he's trying to get our attention that yes, that will you welcome my son into your life? Will you take up your cross with him, right? And so um, will you see him in your neighbor right now who is worried, who's suffering? Will you tell them, no, we have a father. Jesus came to give us, to show us that we all have a father who loves us. Will you um, embrace that trust that he had in the father that he taught us when he said, not my will, but thy will be done. He said, I must go, the world may know that I love the Father. And so will we come back to his son? You know, whenever Mary appeared, has appeared recently, uh, it's always the same thing, to go back to her son, to repent of our sin, right? Um, and Fatima, she said that God is very much offended that we stop offending him, right? That, that Christ has done so much for us, that God has done so much to, for us, so many miracles, sending his son and, and showing such a great love for us on the cross you know Christ's first words was repent and believe in the gospel and so uh, we're still called to repent God is with us he's going to bring his grace and healing to us um, but this time we have to ask are we with him let us turn back to God and um, love him on this Friday to look to him and how much he suffered for us our Lord Jesus God chose the way of suffering so that even in this time of suffering in our crosses and worries and everything that we know that uh, he is with us right Jesus on the cross said my God my God why have you forsaken me we can sometimes feel that God has forsaken us but through the grace of Christ we know no he is with us he knows how we feel but at the end of that psalm why have you forsaken me in Psalm 22 it says that it's this triumph of victory that he that God is with us and gives us victory. And so let us, um, I encourage you to read Psalm 91, that if we take our refuge in God, he will protect us from the plagues, from everything that God is with us and he will give us his grace. So may God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.